practically in every responsible nation where the rule of law and the influence of good governance is provided, it is noticeable that after a free and fair, credible, and acceptable elections were conducted with results announced, one will see a total celebration by the people coupled with special congratulatory messages from across the nation, African, the African continent, and the international community in general. These we have not seen since the presidential results were announced by INEC, making it an unacceptable result by Nigerians, Africans, and the international community in general. Meaning that it is clear that the Ahmed Bola Tinubu election is a rejection by the people of this world, not just Nigeria alone. It is therefore on this note that we call on the people of on the, we call on the people of Nigeria to continue to come out on the streets as a family to peacefully protest at all, demo, at all democratic institutions located in Abuja and in all the 36 states of the Federation. This protest by the people remains a sign of the protection of the democracy of Nigeria, which is expected to be preserved and guided by all means so that the dividends can be consolidated to the betterment of our people. Gentlemen of the press, on the issues of the request for an interim government for Nigeria, in the first place, if the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, have not compromised in deceiving our voters, fooling himself and his leadership, that election, that election result will be released via the vivas in a very responsible nation where the rule of law and the, and the influence of good governance is provided, it will be noticeable that after a free, fair, and acceptable elections were conducted with results announced, one will see his countrymen jubilating. But in this instance, we have not seen this. It means that there's something wrong with the result released by INEC. It is therefore on this note that we call on the people of Nigeria to please come out on the streets in your states, in your local government and your world to register your protest as a rejection signal to what the INEC released as result. Gentlemen of the press, on the issue of the request of the interim government, in the first place, if the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, have not compromised in deceiving our voters, fooling himself, and the leadership that election result will be released via the beavers in real time, the nation will not have been asking President Mohammed Buhari for an interim government today. And moreover, asking for an interim government from the president is not a crime. It, it's a citizen's request to their president as a result of the irregularities recorded in the process of voting, collecting of results, and its announcement. Nigerians are asking for an interim government because we, as Nigerians, have honestly lost trust in the Buhari APC government to continue in the process of finishing the activities of the 2023 electioneering process. Buhari, APC, and the INEC leadership are in the same page because we have seen their movie script followed page by page as they have also opened new pages where the DSS and the NBC have started acting according to approval. The federal government must stop intimidation of individuals, persons, groups, and all democratic institutions like the media in regards to the issues of the 2023 presidential election, fake results announced by INEC against the wishes of the Nigerian people. The government must not use its administrative influence to force anybody on Nigerians as its president because INEC have collected an illegal result, hereby 
pronouncing an illegitimate president elect in the person of Ahmed Bola Tinibu, who the beavers did not uplink results as real time, at real time, according to the Electoral Act 2022, as amended by law. President Buhari, APC, and INEC chairman continue in this disgruntled and shameful behavior of forcing the APC presidential candidate on the people, even when there is protest by the Nigerian people that they did not vote for the APC in the just concluded presidential elections. The values of our democracy cannot be truncated because of the impunity that the Buhari administration have displayed since 2015 when it was voted into office. Fellow Nigerians, we shall continue to stand strong on all protest grounds across Nigeria until President Buhari and his men shoulder the responsibility of being leaders of our nation at the right time and at the right way. In my, in my ways as a political scientist, it is clear that when you refuse to do the right thing at the right time, the right thing will do away with you at the right time, which is what has caught up with President Buhari, the APC, and the INEC leadership for not following the votes of the people, for not allowing the votes of the people to count.